today today is really interesting to me um usually i try to catch what's going on in the morning and so i hear grown folks tv talking about um pretty much the beef sector and what's going on over here and what we're covering and what he won't cover can i say something first of all nobody invited you at least not me to this sector and if you would leave it would be appreciated you add nothing to the sector and we didn't at least i didn't ask you over and i think there lies the problem but these newbies they do and it's all about the coin it's all about the money it's really interesting back in the day they say oh you about the money but no i would never try to bring someone in like that the following thursday baby not on my channel because baby went um shakim or what shakim or whatever his name i'm like i don't know you introduce yourself show yourself don't be coming up here with an avatar I want to see your eyeballs. I want to see who you are. What's your, what, where are you coming from? What's your MO? Why are you leaving your sector coming over here? I want to know. I have a right. If you get on my platform, I don't know none of them, Tracy, as far as I'm concerned. And so I, I just think that if you know what's going on in the B sector, leave. These are our stories the things that interest us and, and we don't have to and shouldn't have to change and move around and adjust because of you that's all i know now let's get to this v, uh youtube stuff i don't know no mbk i don't know ddt baby i don't know none of them alphabets okay i don't but i happen to hear these people <laughs> oh lord can, how, how, where do i start first and then they talking about Ness, they talking about Brianna, all of y'all, they talking about y'all like dogs, okay? They probably talking about the whole sector, but y'all like dogs, okay? Like dogs. But the sad part about it is all of this stuff, is it really worth it? Is it really, really, really worth it? And y'all, I, I don't want to say y'all women, but... The women who allow these people on a platform to get, to give them access, baby, these people are really talking about y'all like dogs and acting like y'all just coming whores. Okay, the man said he wanted to hurt somebody. I mean, just a hot mess. Okay, and then so he done put all of this up out of his uh, all of this right, and then I saw BBK or NBK. <laughs> Girl, NBC, whatever his name, down at the Ness channel, in Ness face, acting like nothing ain't happening. Like he ain't never say nothing about Ness. And these men ain't doing nothing but using y'all. I mean, but it, I'm talking about it because it's a damn shame. They ain't get on my panel. Three weeks later. <sighs> But a lot of y'all said that he called Nika a eight. I, I heard him talking to Olivia, and, and he really got out of his way with Olivia. So I, I heard a little bit of that. Yeah, I heard a little bit of that. Yeah. All right, there we go. Can you hear me? I can, I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, cool. How you doing, Pastor? You know, I'm doing well, and I do curse, and I, I have really cut back on nah. curse because I was cursing a whole lot when I first got on here, so I curse every once in a while, but yeah, I do curse. Yeah, I do. Nah, I've, been watch I've been watching you for a while, so I know. That's I, what I've I been know, hearing. I, I hear y'all been stalking yeah, and stalking yeah. and, and spying on us for a long time. That's what I hear. Well, no, nah, I've been a, a viewer of the beast sector for probably over three years like when, when you guys merged with the with the black sector i think uh, uh, no 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 that's when they merged i'm too grown i'm almost 55 years old i, I don't do that no 
Yeah, I, I, I don't do sectors and merges, but you, I figure since you do sectors, you would do merges. But I don't really do either uh -huh. one. So <laughs> I'm, I'm vintage B sector. I'm not B sector 2.0. Uh -huh. After all that talk, Pass have been doing about how he don't deal with those people and why y'all bringing them in our sector, and I don't be having those people on my panels. He turns around and hosts one of them on his panel. Nothing new though, nothing new because he's been doing that for three years since ZX introduced himself to the beef sector. Pastor, Pastor been talking mad crazy about other people entertaining outsiders, then he'll turn around and do it too as his peers have. One by one, each by each, they've been falling in line with what some people are describing as a merger or other people would describe it as an uh, invasion. Now here, let me rattle off a few statements and, or declarations or decrees that I've been hearing for three years. Right, here they go. You are not part of the beef sector. You're not in the beef sector. The beef sector does not accept you. No matter how hard you try, you will never be a part of the beef sector. You keep trying to get into the beef sector, but the beef sector said no, bitch. Or nobody invited you into the beef sector. And those are only a few versions that I've heard from a lot of the beef sector people. So, with that said, I have a rhetorical question. Rhetorical, because I already know the answer. And I also need to obtain some uh, rhetorical understanding. Rhetorical, because I already understand. So my question is, what exactly do those things mean? Because we used to have a saying that goes, that's what your mouth say. And that's what your mouth say, that means that, okay, I heard you, but you're not doing what you say. Now let me run through a few things to folks who loves to tell people you're not part of the beef sector. The beef sector does not accept you. The people who are solidified beef sector, you know, their names are on the uh, beef sector walk of fame. One of the things that they do is share panels together. They be in each other's chat rooms and be on each other's comment boards. They share the same audience. They be on the phone with each other or in emails, gossiping, providing each other with information to use against each other. Money exchanges hands, which are all things that they do with the ones that they say are not part of the beef sector. Could you please go? What are you waiting for? Jesus. Or how about vacationing together? That, hey, that's something that beef sector people been doing with each other long before the immigrants showed up. Same thing Nicole did, misunderstood. Went on vacation with them on a cruise ship. Those are All crazy. while they was telling her, and they still telling her till this day that she is not beef sector. Been telling her that for four or three years. Yeah, take it away. Been telling her that for three years, but she went on the whole cruise ship with him. <laughs> this beef sector folks planning a vacation right now with a couple of dudes. Uh, well, a couple, of, not just dudes, a couple of people. Shot Kim, NBK. These are people who they say will never be part of the beef sector, but they're planning a vacation with them right now. But ain't vacationing with each other something bona fide beef sector people do? Yes, of course it is. So I need to understand what exactly does being accepted by the beef sector look like? Because I can't tell the difference. I can't tell the difference because non-beef sector people are treated as beef sector people are treated. Beef sector folks don't met up in person and fucked. Like VS and the chick QI, they met up together and got it in. Or Rico, he don't hit a man in the booty over there. Said it took place in the shower and Rico hit, what's the dude, uh, uh, Wiley. He hit Wiley in the booty so hard that Rico said Wiley shit it on his dick. In the shower, said Wiley shit it all on the floor. And I got his dick sucked by another dude over there. Yeah, Rico get around. Oh yeah, soon as he got him hooked. Oh yeah, the sugar ones, now you bitch. But I bought some pussy. Didn't Rob get some pussy? Yeah, yeah, sure he did. Days worth of pussy he got from Treason. Rob not beef sector. Noble got some pussy too. Treasy got days worth of dick out of Noble. Twice. First time she went to Detroit where he at. Second time he went to Texas where she at. 
Yeah, Tracy know what Tracy want and Tracy gonna get it. I'm gonna pop out and we gonna spill it. Whether or not she gotta go to it or make it come to her, she gonna get it. So what does not being part of the B sector look like? Not sound like, what does it look like? I don't want to hear what it sounds like. I've heard, you're not in the beef sector. The beef sector doesn't accept you and blah, blah, blah. I heard it. I heard all that already. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> but what does it look like? Because I don't see a difference. I don't see enough of a difference to differentiate. And let me give you an example of what I mean when I say I heard it. Right? Because I'm not trying to hear what it sounds like. I heard it all. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example of what I mean by that like a month or two ago and there's plenty more examples like this but about a month or two ago when Spillet Boy sparked that whole predator talk in the beef sector stuff a few people got mad at him and this one lady told Spillet Boy that he's not beef sector I say god damn because if Spillet Boy not beef sector then nobody is you can't get more beef sector than Spillet Boy and I've even heard more than I've even heard more than a few people call him an OG from over there. How are you gonna get more beef sector than Spillet Boy? But you get mad at him, and he's not beef sector. A lot of people get done like that. People been around there for a long time. You're not beef sector, as soon as they get mad. So I hear the words, you're not part of the beef sector, but that could mean that somebody just mad at you. Some more. The directing of traffic to each other's channels. Y'all better get over there and hear him. Y'all better get over there and hear her. They was lit over there last night. Y'all better get over there and hear that. That's something that the beef sector people do with each other. Channel, get your ass on over the Grown Folk TV channel. Baby, when I tell y'all that that motherfucking Jess Krista, if Jess Krista ain't goddamn pre-motherfucking beef sector, bitch, Baby, Jess Crystal is over there letting the motherfuckers know, bitch. She letting them motherfucking ladies know. Get y'all ass on over there to ZX's channel, Grown Folk TV. Baby, Jess Crystal is laying the girls out. That was Sean Bradley, but wait a minute. Grown folks, ZX, he not beef sector. And what is Beef Sector just Krista doing on his panel like she be on the Beef Sector people's panels? You see, and that's why I'm trying to get some rhetorical understanding. Even the promotion of non-Beef Sector channels on your community tabs, you do that too. Just like the Beef Sector promotes Beef Sector channels on their community tabs. The Beef Sector also does these challenges, cooking contests and other stuff. And they've even done a few contests that were uh, sexual in nature. One of those times was a chick from the Mo3 sector, if I'm not mistaken, and she won like a thousand dollars. And the outcry was, why y'all letting the money leave the beef sector? We need to keep our money in the house. But what about the other occasions? Two separate occasions. The first one was Demetra lit all day. And I think the year after that was lovely love who went outside of the beef sector and participated in the wet t-shirt contest same thing that the beef sector people do with each other so what i'm seeing is that the immigrants i'm seeing the immigrants getting all the perks of natural citizens of the beef sector just like with the border situation we have you know th th that we see going on globally they're getting debit cards and low-income housing WIC, ebt education health care and all that so I don't see anything that non beef sector people are excluded from. I don't see nothing. So, you know, is there like some, uh, maybe some secret VIP members only perks and activities that are beef sector only? Because again, I don't see that outsiders are being forbidden from anything. I don't see nothing like that. All right, and listen, I, you, know, here's the, this, you know, this really like trips me out sometimes because I'll be hearing people talking about, uh, an infiltration and how people are sneaking into the beef sector. Listen, you don't take no James Bond, secret spy, industrial espionage type of maneuvers to get into the beef sector. No! All people have done is just showed up and joined in on the festivities. 
no kicking in doors have been necessary because the beef sector been laying out the welcome mat and waving people on in. Now the only one that might have kicked in the door was ZX. He came through like a motherfucking earthquake through there. Right, so again, ain't no plots and schemes with intricate details and blueprints to the building have been necessary. Right, but then again, even he was welcome to participate, so I can't even say he kicked in the door. He's been welcomed. Why? Well, because the beef sector beefs. And if you got some blood for them to spill, they're going to spill your blood. And look, before I get out of here, there's certain ones of the folks over there that's beef sector. They really looking like this uh, uh, merger or invasion or some people call it a takeover or whatever it is. It's really hurting their hearts. Really hurting them in their soul or something. Like, you know, like this one lady, I'm not going to say her name, but she over there sounding greater than bothered by it. And she's not the only one. It's a couple of more like that. They sound truly bothered in their, in their body. All right. Meanwhile, all she need to do is just grab herself a plate and some utensils pull up a chair to the table with her peers and sit down and dig in so that she don't be sounding like she over there going crazy over the outsiders. If they're not really outsiders, really, you know, because like I said earlier, the doors have been open for all to come. So her and the others need to just get in on some, uh, get in where you fit in type shit. Or another option, of course, of action that is equally viable to get in where you fit in is abstinence. Kind of like celibacy. Quick cold turkey. Don't even talk about what your peers are doing because they already left. They're already on their way, wherever that might be. So don't even worry about it. Leave it alone. Or accept the things that you cannot change and have the wisdom to know the difference. 